Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can set up recurring profiles in your store. So first of all, what is the profile? Profile are allow you to set up recurring payments for your customer. And that is very useful if you plan to sell products by subscription. And if you want to promoting or discount number of the club, or if you want to simply breaking up payment in the smaller portion, then these features gives you more control over your customer and charge for your product and services. So let's start with the live example. For finding out the recurring profiles, you have to log in your dashboard area and then go to the catalog and there is a recurring profiles. Click on here. For adding a new profiles, you have to click on the add new. And in the recurring profile, you can find out there are two options. One of is recurring profiles and one of the style profile. Okay, so first of all, what is the actual recurring profile? So first of all, you have to put the name of your recurring profile. For now, additional purpose, I am using the dollar. $10 per month. Okay, so that should be okay with me. So that is $10 per month. That is our name. And now there is a price I just want to set up for the every uh, month. So I'm just adding the thing as a 10. So for now, $10 is okay with me. And then the duration. And the duration is the number of the times a user will make a payment. Okay, so for now, if you make that things as a zero, that means it will be the unlimited time for your customer pay that amount. Okay, so for now, I'm just setting as a 12. And then the cycle, the number that will be applied to your frequency option. That means like what kinds of frequency you want, like I'm just setting up as a month. That means your customer have to pay $10 every month for the 12th time. Okay, so that's the things we just set up on here. So now I'm just make that things stable, status should be the enable. And now there is the trial profile. So for now, if you want to sell some of your services, for now you just want to make that things as a trial profile should be the zero. Okay, for you just want to uh, make a trial profile for the one month. So if you select this type of things, like I'm just adding that things on here, the one, I just want to make the trial duration for the one month. So there is the cycle and I just set up that things as a month. That means your customer is a free for the one month and there is a one cycle. So for the first month, your customer don't need to pay any amount to you. Okay, so that the setup we just set up on here. There is a trial status. I'm just adding that things as a enable and short order, I'm just put that things as a one. Okay, now I just save. So if you want to sell your services for to your customer through this your store, then you can actually manage these things with these recurring profiles. But now if you want to add that profile in your product, for education purpose, we already created add some of the product in our store. And in our store, we already added this, this product, this man's t-shirt 01. For education purpose, I'm just using this product again. Okay, so if you want to sell some of the services or some of the product with the monthly subscription system, then actually you apply that your recurring profile onto it. For education purpose, I just want to show you how you can actually add this recurring profile to your product. But now I just click on the edit. I already discussed about that product, that how you can actually add the product in your store and it's now actually visible on our t-shirt categories. So here I just also added one of the another product on here. And now if you want to go to the recurring option, in the recurring option, just click on here. And now you can see it's automatically by default, we just create one of the recurring profile is a $10 per month. So that is the monthly base subscription. We just added that things on here and there is a customer group. So you can also create some of the customer group because when I discuss about the customer, like there you can find out there is a customer. So when I discuss about the customer session, then you will be well understand about it, how you can create some of the customer group for particular customer. So how you can create the customer group, I will discuss that things with the live example. For now, I just save that things on here and save this page. So we just save this page. Now, if you open this product, so we just added edit this product for addition purpose. I am just using that things with this t-shirt. Okay, but I just want to show you how the things exactly look like. Like here, if you want to make the things with the subscription process, like there is the services you want to share with your customer. So then the option for the $10 per month. Okay, so if your customer select this one and you can see there is the message is $0 for every one month. For the one time payment so that is the things we just set up for the trial period and then the ten dollar for every one month for the 12 times okay so there's the recurring profile we just added in our product page for now it's actually visible on here so i hope you can well understand about it how you can create some of the recurring profile and how you can sell your product and services with the smallest portion so that is the things you can actually do it from here okay for education purpose i am just adding that things in our t-shirt page for now, if you want to delete these things from here, I just show you how we can actually delete this one. So you have to just go to the recurring profile again and simply just remove that things from here and now save it.
So I hope you can well understand about it, how we can create the subscription profile. In our next video is very much important. I will discuss about the filters. So how you can manage your filters for your product. So you already created some of the category for the t-shirt. So there is already the t-shirt, some of the product I added on here. So how you can create the filter and add the things in your face. In our next video, I'll show you with the live example. So thank you for watching this video. Keep learning.